Peter Yan versus Sonya Dong. Who's going to win this fight? Well, let's take a look at the latest performances in which Peter Yan fought Sean O'Malley, in which this was a very close fight. Both went back and forth. Both had their highlights, but Sean O'Malley ended up taking it by decision. For the winner, by split decision, Sugar! At this, Peter Yan went on to fight Marab, in which Marab's grappling, wrestling, and cardio was way too much for Peter Yan, and Peter Yan lost it by decision. Your winner by unanimous decision, Marab! Now let's take a look at Song Dong's latest performances, in which he fought Ricky Simon, in which both started off very fast with a lot of grappling, until Song Dong dropped Ricky and ran for it. Where Ricky Simone is best. And then TKO'd him in round five. Clipping him in the ear every time he throws. See, every time. Oh! Shots. That's and it. that's going to do it. At this, Song Yudong went on to fight Chris Gutierrez, in which both went back and forth. But Song Yudong was way more accurate than Chris Gutierrez. And Song Yudong ended up winning it by decision. All for your winner by unanimous decision. The Kung Fu Kid! Now before I talk about how the fight will go and before I talk about who's going to win this fight, let me just say that both men need to win this fight and both men have a reason to win. Starting off with Song Yudong, the desire for him to win is to get into that top five because he's currently sitting at rank number seven. So if he wins and beats Peter Yan, then most likely he'll get into that top five, which will then create a whole new competition in the Bantamweight division. And as for Peter Yan, he definitely needs to win this fight to redeem his three back-to-back -back losses because if he loses this fight, then I think it's clear to say that he can no longer compete in the top five. Now let me just say that I don't like that most people see Peter Yan as a watch fighter because reality is that his latest three losses have been against the best. They've literally been against the current champ, Sean O'Malley, and the top two guys, Marab and Aljo. So when talking about who wins this fight and how, I'm about to go for Peter Yan on this one. Yes, Song Yudong has way more experience than Peter Yan and is definitely known for being a knockout artist. But the reason I got Peter Yan is because he's a very good patient fighter with good defense, not only when it comes to striking, but also when it comes to defending takedowns. So for that reason, I do believe that he'll be able to outperform Song Yudong and at the same time avoid being knocked out.